yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Such a Wild, aka Coach Bird, and I'm the host of the Bird Cage Show. Cousin Trey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all see, it's about to be it's a rough one. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Right, let me get my shit together. <laughs> episode, episode, episode 69. See, see, this is what I love. See, y'all see who's on the couch. You know what I'm saying? He really doesn't even need no introduction, but y'all see who's on the couch. And that's what I love when we all get together because this happens. So we're going to try to, you know what I mean, get Keep through this. <laughs> we are back at it, episode 69. Once again, you already know. Uh, uh, a friend of the show, I believe this is your fourth time on this joint. Fourth time, fourth time on this Man. joint, you know what I'm saying? A My family of the day. show, family of the show, you know what I'm saying? He's back in the building, you know what I'm saying? And uh, hey, won't you just let him know you're back? <laughs> there it is, you know what I'm saying? There it is, he is back in the day. Um, we just want to talk a little bit about uh, uh, what's going on in high school football in this area right now. Um, many of you know, I'm sure, but if you don't know, um, my cousin Nay is on uh, Camden High's football staff, one of the uh, football coaches there, you know what I'm saying? So he's uh, he's making his way back into coaching a little high school football, you know what I'm saying? So let's get right into it. So how you liking it so far, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm loving it. When first time Bobby said, he like, asked me to come back and mm-hmm. join, I said, coming back to our alma mater, it's a no-brainer. I'm back. Then I coached with him a few years ago mm-hmm. in Timber Creek. We had a good, successful season. The years when I was there, when I coached the mm-hmm. freshmen, so it was like a no-brainer to come back home and then right. get back to the city. And I'm back in the city. And he's back in the yeah, city. Yeah, all the way around. <laughs> all, the way around. Yeah. <laughs> all full circle. He is back and back. <laughs> he is back and back. That's what's up. Now, um, just to let the people know that might not know, just your background in coaching because you've been coaching for a minute. Yes, people might not know started, that. As y'all know, I got. Four boys, one girl. So <laughs> four of my boys played across the township, and I coached there. So I coached them from ages seven to thirteen, and then when Demir got to high school, I coached his sophomore year. I coached mm-hmm. the freshman. So I was in. I was a GT for like twelve years. I was at Timber Creek for like three years, and I took off like ten years. Right. And I, was back. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually I missed it. So now I'm back. Now just to be back in that camaraderie with the okay. ball and everything, coaching That's and filming sessions and all right, that. Right, right, like, right. Wow, it's like the itch came back. That's what's up. What um position coaching over there? Like, what's your what's your role? Well, my role on that is like, I'm like the I'm like traffic control. I'm okay. Like, <laughs> I'm actually a freshman head coach. I got okay. I got the defense. Okay. So I helps so out. I I go like the wide receiver. Okay. Okay. Sometimes look at gotcha. Gotcha. Look, watch Bob the defense. Okay. Okay. That's my role, but I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you there. <laughs> and I'm not. <laughs> Now you know you're, you're never gone. You're never See, gone. You, you're yeah. never gone. You're you know what I'm saying? You know. <laughs> Did we kick it? Just like you said. He just kicked it to the top. Papa Ghost is mad at you right now. Yeah. Two in. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, that's funny. So what are you gonna be at that's Turkey what's Game? What side are you gonna be? <clears throat> yeah, how about that? For those that might not know what we're talking about, Turkey Game that's the our big rival that's been forever, Ken High versus Wilson on Thanksgiving, the football game. And back to the question. Um, well, <laughs> on Turkey Game Day, mm-hmm. I'll be at Cam and Catholic. Okay, Yeah, right, 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 right. right. No, I'm joking. Okay, that's, I'm joking. That's cool, but are we still? No, I'm joking. That's I'm joking. Right. I'll that's be right. at, uh, on the field. Okay. Stand in the middle. Stand in the <laughs> On the court, I stand on the curve. On the curve. Where the 200 is. Because it's at Wilson this year, right? Yeah, it is. I'm yeah, on the 200 is. curve. Okay. Yeah, right there. On uh, the, yeah. So, but you're going to be there. I'll be there. And I'm going to have on all black, so I don't. Black. That's Wilson's colors. Yeah. No, Cam the Hype got their. Yeah, their oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just didn't see that. Y'all just, they try to play. Listen, they try to play me out. They try to play me out. Turkey game, too. They try to play me out. Just know I'm there supporting the children, as I do. Mm-hmm. I support the children. It's about the children. It's about nothing else, nobody else. It's about the children. I'm going to be on field with you, though. 
So we chilling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bird cage, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we do oh, a, yeah. Maybe a little, little segment little from, from, yeah. 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 from, yeah. from at the, at the, at the, at the yeah. breakfast, yeah. at the game. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that might be yeah. nice. So stay tuned yeah. for that. Yeah. Yeah. Stay tuned for that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Our, our, our turkey day yeah. festivities. Turkey day festivities. With, we'll with the bird seeds. We'll be up <laughs> Ooh, shots fired. Shots fired. I stay out of all of that. I'm with it though, I'm purple gold, so. 30 nuts out there to me. I'm black. <laughs> I'm black. <laughs> now, let's talk about this, A. Um, you know, now that you're back in it, and I mean, even though you wasn't coaching for those couple of years, you're still involved and know what's going on. Um, how you feel about the high school kids, like, with just transferring from high school to high school? Yeah, before like, you make a comment about that, it's not just the transferring part. It's the whole acting like you're going from – the Eagles mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. the right. Cowboys no, no, from, I was say from Miami. I was going to say that. Like, y'all going to a high school. I was going to say that. I and they making all this hoopla. I'm taking my chance. Yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 yeah. nah. Y'all kids. I saw, I saw, I saw and, 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 and let's be, let's be, and eighth grader did it, but let's yeah. be, let's be frank. And I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Everybody is one injury away from not being nowhere. Of course. Yeah, that's true. So just be humble. Where's the that's humility? True. Yeah, nah. But, and blame it on college. College football. When mm -hmm. they did that transfer portal, mm -hmm. them college kids went crazy with that. And mm -hmm. those younger kids see that. They follow on Twitter, take my talents here, and that's where they got it. Yep. Yeah. No, definitely. So I blame it on that. And, and NCAA is their fault because it's going to be, in the next few years, going to be it's gonna really crazy. crazy. It's going to be, I was because they're going to really blow it up where kids are going to basically, because now with the NRL deals. Yeah, I'm going to bring, gonna gonna bring that up. Car dealerships. I'm going to bring that up. I'm going to bring that up. They're making it outrageous. So now them little kids, younger kids are seeing that. Right. So I can do this now. I'm just going to high school. Now right. you're getting high school. Yeah, yes. Yep. That's yes. just messing it all up. Yes, yes, yes. But, but also, too, let's, let's, let's go back to statistically. Mm -hmm. Statistically, how many athletes end up making it to the league? It's like 1%. Yeah, something crazy. So, yeah. and I've seen the percentages that don't. Yeah. Well, they had talent. Yeah. yeah. We all had Very yeah. talented. Yeah. Nah, yeah. nah. No, no. You know sure. what I mean? And sure. That's what I Said to my kids, the kids are coaching everything. I said, some of you guys are never going to play football at the high school game. Right, right. I said, it's only one percent make it. That's going to the NFL. I said, thirty-two teams, fifty-five man roster, mm -hmm. thirty-five hundred guys in the NFL in the world. Mm -hmm. So just yeah. imagine that one percent make it. You got to be real talented or know a lot of good talented people to right. get you where you right. get in the league. But more importantly, everybody needs to know, and I'm going to say this to even the parents. Humble yourself. Oh, yeah. Where's yeah. the humility? Nah. Like, I know somebody that's extremely talented, humble as hell. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nah, speak, let your talent speak for itself. You don't have to speak, you don't have to say a word. Yeah. And you say that right now. I was just talking the, the other day our, at our game. We're playing West Duffer. The kid is like, don't let nobody jump in your face, do that, whatever. I said, listen, you let your talent speak on the field. You ain't got to say nothing to nobody. Mm -hmm. I said, because you're going to get the flag. I said, you're, you're a plan for Canada anyway. They don't want to see you progress. They don't see you. When y'all make the playoffs last year, because yeah. of fight. Right. Uh, Running them out. I right. said, be quiet and walk away. They want you to act up. Uh, yeah, that's, that's definitely true. I said, put it on the field. I said, when you're done and I see that scoreboard, you say, and point the scoreboard right. when you're right. done. And I mean to them, to your teammates. Right, 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 right. You ain't got to worry about talking to no trash and on the field. I, so I told my kids ever since they were little that. And I never forget when I took the kids to Greg Pease's son, Demir and all them. We went to see Ernie Davis' store. Okay. And the guy knocked Ernie Derns out of the practice mm -hmm. and knocked him out of the uh, sideline. And he jumped up. And the guy said, say something to him. He said, no, Ernie said, I let my gang speak for myself. And don't you know the kids talking to me and say, coach, that's what you be saying. Mm -hmm. Nah. That's yeah, right. you got to, you know, prove that's yourself right. on the that's field, yourself, yeah. on, the, on the court, right. on the track, whatever. But just be humble. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Humility gets you a long, a long way. way. It does. A long because way. Because it says in the Bible about boasting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Yes. You're definitely right. You know you're what I mean? Right. So just be humble. I mean, I don't mind the transfer portal. Right. I don't. Because we all, as some, well, not we all, but I was a product of a transfer. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? The newspaper article <clears throat> went up and all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. And that was back in the 80s. But my thing is, I don't have a problem with transfer. Right. Just whiz, why the hoopla? Right. Yeah. I got you. And this is so many kids that do it. Like, a kid who's real humble about it is James Hurd on our team. Mm -hmm. That transfer. Yes, he is. And the only reason why he transferred to us, and people don't realize it, because St. Joe's Prep don't have gray shirt. Right. Where Cannon High allows great shirt. Right. Where he can graduate in December and go to college. And go, in right. Go early. Because so he's going to uh, Virginia, is it? West Virginia? West Virginia. West Virginia. That's West Virginia. That's why he came. He's, that kid is so humble. And yeah. He's nah, he is. And he lives across the street in Cannon High. <laughs> that's the yeah. thing about it. Yeah. But I'm, that's, I don't mind the transfer pool, the people, kids transferring. But right. I really don't think seniors should do it. Because you already established yourself. Why go to another school? You already established yourself. And you now you're leaving your teammates. And you, <clears throat> I had a conversation about that last year. Um, a lot of, 
adults that are around these kids um, don't convince them to make the best decisions their senior year. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it's so crazy because we have a lot of people who are coaching around our children that really don't have the best interests of our yeah. kids. Huh? You know what I mean? They don't. A lot of them don't. I've seen that. I've seen that back when I coached Little League. A lot of kids, the parents just, it's me, 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 me. You got to worry about the kids too. Sometimes you got to ask your kid, do you want to do this? Right, right, right. Because it's their yeah, that decision. Conversation. On top of yeah, it's like, yeah. Even like, as with colleges, kids, parents are trying to tell them what college to pick. No, that's their for you. Yeah, right, right. Like, come on. Yeah. Hold on, let me, let, let's bring this up. Okay. Little scuttlebutt. Uh-uh. 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 So I hear, because those four schools are underneath the Camden umbrella, mm -hmm. the day of the kids going to medical arts, big picture, and creative, and playing at any school other than Camden High, maybe off the table. Did you hear anything about that? Oh, I didn't hear that. So they got to play for the eyes. Yep. That's what they're saying. But here's the thing, the crazy part about it is when they were building the new Camden High, <clears throat> that question came up on the committee. Right. Mm -hmm. And it was said, we'll cross that bridge where we get to, well, the water's rising right. and the bridge is here. But who's Be trying to put a, their foot down on that is Kip, Kip High School. You know who runs that. Yeah. Right, right. Kip has their own football team. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And basketball. And the they got basketball, mm -hmm. too. They got, only got, I think, freshmen and juniors. Right, right. right. And it's like they're getting their butts cracked. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But I guess he thinks he's going to get it so built up that they're going to be able to beat Canada High one day. Mm. But I don't think it's ever going to happen. Well, you know, my um, Mastery has a squad, too. Yeah, and yeah they do. And yep. unfortunately, yeah, their game was canceled. They had to cancel. They like, have enough kids? No, no, no. Oh. The thing, same thing that happened was up here soccer. Yeah, it was a gun, gun threat. threat. Oh. Gun threat oh. Friday night. And this oh. was the first time Mastery just so happened to be in this area right. where the families could actually support their kids. Mm. Where's the field at? Um, they don't have a field. Oh, so they so all their games are away. Gotcha. And they play like other Masteries, like up North Jersey, oh, okay. you know, okay. close to New okay. York. You know what I'm saying? So over Philly. But this was the only time they was able to be close to home because they was out Collinswood. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. um, somebody, Collinswood's game, one of their games got canceled and Mastery was able to pick up the game okay. or vice versa. Okay. Something happened, but either way, right. they was able to play Collinswood and then uh, same situation like happened at Pesaka last year. Um, the, we, we yeah, third half quarter, time. half yeah, time, yeah, yeah. you know, got some threats. Yeah. Not, it, they said it was a little chaotic. Right. Then they kept the team in the locker room and made an announcement that they oh, had wow. to shut it down. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, uh, you know, it's crazy. high school sports. And so, you can't even enjoy Friday night lights. So, so that would help out the Kip Academies and the Masters yes. because now parents are going to be like, okay, I, he's not going to be able to play here, transferring to yeah. Kip, Mastery, whatever, where he could play. Shout and out to uh, Antoine, by the way. He's doing yeah, a good job with their basketball. And squad. this is the thing Kip, Mastery, both from basketball and football um perspective is building that program from ground zero right, right. and i get it right so you it's going to take some years right, it's going to take some time yeah but again this is my humble opinion and please if you agree with me fine if you don't that's fine too because we're all adults and we can agree to disagree mm -hmm, definitely. if my kid is talented right but i know for a fact that my kid ain't going to get on the field mm -hmm. at all to maybe his junior senior year mm -hmm. Recruiting's over for him. Right. Why not put him in a position where somebody can see him sooner? Right. Because guess what? At the end of the day, we all know it ain't where you play, it's how you play. True. So, so what? My team getting their ass cracked. But I'm out there my doing, my, doing thing my thing and, yeah. and I'm able to create footage and film. <coughs> right, right. So, like last year, shout out to Coach Avant. According to the, the community, Coach Avant got scraps. Got all the leftover kids. Mm -hmm. That's what the, that's what we're the saying. Yeah, he got the yeah, leftover kids. Yeah. He took those leftover kids Wanna, to the same championship yeah, yeah, and won he it. Yes, he did. Shout same out to level. Yeah, so my yeah. thing is, as we call, which is a bad terminology to say about anybody's yeah, child, facts. because everybody may not be exceptional, but everybody may be talented enough to go to college. Yeah. Let's be yeah. clear. That's, that's, that's I may way. not be. I may not be a a, 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 a blue chip. Right. But I'm good enough to get a free education. Right. 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 Definitely. We see it all the time because yeah, D D two not only D one give out but D two mm -hmm. give out scholarship mm -hmm. and some D threes depending on how you come into their program. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So I y'all call me a leftover, but I can still get an education right. out of this. Yeah. Nah. You know what I mean? Definitely. So think about it. If it ain't enough space on this bench for me, right, I'm out. I might take I'm my talent yeah, where I can either get development because 
I ain't gonna hold you. The basketball coaches over at Master are amazing. You got Cole and you got um Peyton. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna get, you're gonna learn something. Right, right, right. The football coaches, you got Troy Still over there. Where at Mastery? I'm just talking about Mastery. You and Troy Still was part of the coaching staff that won the three championships mm-hmm. with Wilson. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna learn something. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna yeah. learn something skill set wise. Oh, now let's talk about Kip. You got Boo over there teaching, um, coaching football. He was part of one of Wilson's championship teams, mm-hmm. I believe. Mm-hmm. And then you got Antoine Miller, who's a basketball dude on the mm-hmm. basketball tip, along with I think Hassan Pulliam is over there. Mm-hmm. So the kids are going to learn something. Yeah. So why not? So this is the problem we're going to have. Yeah, nah. For years we're going to have it. I agree. I definitely Because agree. Now you got these four schools. Right. With, and again... A lot of people was going to the Big Picture Learning Academy because they was getting mm-hmm. structured, discipline, right, little right. education, and you know what I mean? I could play for whoever I want. Right. Right. So now that's going to be, yeah. Because yeah, I know um, when I uh, head coach at Canada High, like most of my kids was at medical arts, creative arts, mm-hmm. things like that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's going to be uh, that's going to be tough. But yeah. One you know thing that's saying? changing at Canada High, though, is Bobby's in the school. And right. Bobby goes and get those kids out of class, and like when he first got there, mm-hmm. it's like, oh man, it's like like a straight not same coach. Right, 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 right. right. To do things like that where other coaches was there wasn't doing. Stuff wasn't like right. But because they right. wasn't in the building. Wasn't in the right. building. Right. right, and I, you know, and that's a that was a big, big argument from no, from big. the beginning. That's that's big. Like if you got a high school coach, needs to be in the high school. Yeah, like, nah, that's big. He said to me, he says, I wish all my teachers were my football coaches. I said, why you say that? He said because I listen to them. I said, you need to listen to your teachers too. He said, but he's like, t- the coaches are more stern on it. Yeah. Like, I wish all my coaches were my, te- my, my teachers. Yeah. I yeah. said, wow, that's big. But I said, but you got to give respect to the women teachers, too, also. Right. I said, half there for them. They're trying to make you better. They're trying to right, make you better right, in the right. class. Because if you do better in the classroom, right. you that's better, better get the college yeah. off. Right. Which right. is great. Super facts. So how's it, uh... <laughs> I was a coaching with our boy, <laughs> Coach Bobby Henson. <laughs> Bobby, when, uh, he's a disciplinary from being in the service and everything. Uh-huh. So the kids, some kids are combative to him and everything. Like the other day, he made us, we did round the worlds. Round the worlds was like, you jog, sprint, jog, sprint, stop, do push ups, stop. The kids were like, why we gotta do this? We ain't do nothing wrong. He said, what? He said, you're late to school, your teammates. One kid came 50 minutes late to class because he was upstairs at home at cooking. To come downstairs to the class, I'm like, oh, I was cooking pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're like, so why we been punished for that? Because this is part of your, your, your whole yeah, budget. Exactly. You got this when you get to college. You got you got ready for meals. You got prep and everything else. So the kids are running. It was so funny. So we're running around, and of course, Bob, you know, he's one of us. He's cursing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Natalie's like, oh, they're doing six inches. <laughs> you know, yeah, oh my that. God. But it's like, Bob is like, he's putting that discipline to these kids. Okay. Some get it, okay. some not. Okay. A lot of them is, wasn't part of the right. working hard. Right, right, right. Like the, the older kids that's been there already. Right. So now they're saying it, because now all these jokes are getting offers now. Mm. Like, Bob, just some couple kids just went up to uh, six Syracuse this weekend. Okay. Mm-hmm. Back with offers. Okay. BJ and a couple other kids now. A lineman, he got a couple offers Morgan State, okay. stuff like that. So, with Sterling, go to the Sterling game. Talk about <laughs> it. Bob's already telling them, stop. These kids, they're losing. So, the kids right. are trying to start fights with them. Right. So, one of our kids, and one of the Sterling kids, is going around tussling. So, one of our coaches act like he wasn't going to the field and help him. So, Bob jumps up and says, get the off my field. I'm going to have the coach back up. The coach didn't know which way to go. He's back up. Like, and I'm going to turn around and laugh because he looks like I'm going to send some back up in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> but right, but, but discipline is this, discipline is required. Yeah, but Definitely. And but you can tell the difference from like I went to a couple games last year, right, right, right. Last year and this year, right. Like even the kids, like we, Bobby make us run, win or lose at the game, we got right. sprints, one sprint. Right. Mm. So the one kid's like, "Why are we always doing this?" I said, "Listen." So the one coach, one kid came back to me and said, "Coach, look at Sterling. They over there bending over on their mm-hmm. knees. Now I don't see what you're talking about. Right. We're running, working now. We can go another quarter. Right. Play. Exactly. Exactly. So that's the difference. Exactly. Yeah. It says it's we. Our programs have been very lackadaisical, lackadaisical um, mm, discipline. discipline. Right. But the community, the schools, yeah. everybody's lax. There's no yeah. discipline. Yeah. People just do like, like some crazy nonsense happened after school on Friday at an elementary school. Jokers was on top of cars. It was families coming to fight each other. It just was chaotic. And the only thing I could do at this point, because I'm not getting in that mess no more right, right. because I don't get paid extra to break up fights no more. Right. I done lost AirPods breaking up fights at football games mm-hmm. while the police sat there and looked at me. I done lost drop phones. I don't do, I'm not doing that no more. People say what they want. Only thing I got for you is, hey, 911. <laughs> not just the athletes, 
the kids don't have no discipline. Yeah, right. They right. have no discipline. Right. They don't give a hell. Yeah. Not here. I mean, so many parents come. Eat this, do that, and why are we on the field? I mean, right, we're right. winning. Right, and, right, right. Let me ask y'all coaches a question, because I don't coach no more and I'm not. Let me ask y'all coaches a question. What is with it? Because I even see it in the Little League. Mm -hmm. Why do little kids get off the field and their dads is giving them, what, who, why is they walking over to the gate talking to their dads? Doing the middle. It starts in Little League. What is yeah, that about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know at where at Penn Sarkin, we don't, I mean, that, we don't allow it, so, but. I've seen it happen, and I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't get that either. You know what I'm saying? Like, talk to your peoples after the game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, you you sir, <laughs> if you're that skilled, <laughs> volunteer your time. Come on out. <laughs> we need more coaches. Come on out. If I say it all the time. Skilled, I, I say it all the time. Come on to help. We make our kids stand cool. behind us, facing the field. Right. And in between the benches, so you don't go unless you're gonna get water. Right, or right. Some said with their parents, whatever. Right, right, right. You gotta put your helmet back on and get right back right, to the field yeah, and face yeah. the field. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Because that's uh, yeah. And you know, you it's funny because you I see that a lot. Um, basketball, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Just because they're so close yeah. and yeah. everything else. And you know, I gotta tell my kids, I was like, listen, if you're gonna be listening to these coaches in the stands, you can go sit with them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. You can go play for their team. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because we not we not having that. You know what I'm saying? But uh. Uh, before we get out of here, what's uh, what y'all looking like rest of the season? What you think? What's your, pretty good. Because uh, no, y'all three and one right now? Four and one? Three and one? Three and one. one. I project, I just reviewed the schedule. I project they should go undefeated. For the rest. I think rest so, too. Rest of the year. I, I think so, too. I second that because I don't think we're really going to have a real comp until we get in the playoffs because we're in group three in the playoffs. Right, right, right. right. But I think we're going to probably make history this Who's year. Who's over there? The group over there? Delcy over there, I think. Delcy Winslow. Winslow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we're going to make history here. We're the first championships in 1976. That's what's up. That'll be big. You got to come to the party. Yes. I mean, <coughs> you got to you gotta come to the celebration. <coughs> and it's going to be close to my house. You, you, at the waterfront. You, you got to come to that. You can wear a bot, whatever, but you got to. Come on. You graduated from the place. I need a purple band yeah. to put on the eye. Uh... <laughs> 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 no. So let's be clear. You know it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be there downtown. Saturday's <laughs> game with my purple and gold hoodie on, customized hoodie. I support the kids. They know how to. I support the staff. I support oh, the staff. They play Saturday this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they play Hatton oh, Heights yeah. Saturday 2.30. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go too. Because yeah. we yeah, play Friday. I play Friday. Yeah, yeah we'll we be there Friday. Saturday 2.30. Yeah. Yeah, Can you pick me up in your nice truck? Yeah, I got you. All right. I got you. So we'll be there. Y'all know I'm about. I'm a fucks with Canada High. Y'all know I do. I just be <laughs> joking, cracking jokes. The whole, yeah, the exactly. whole, the whole exactly. coaching staff just about my crew. Yeah. Why yeah. would not? Like you know what I mean? I just be. Plus I, I believe that shit. <laughs> shout out to them anyway. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Bobby Red. Leroy. Uh, Leroy. That's yeah. right. Leroy's on that staff now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's definitely what's up. What about Jeff Squad this shit, yeah? Yeah, we are. Uh, doing shit. Yeah, yeah. Cool shout Red. out, shout out to Cool Red. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 63 nothing yeah. last Thursday yeah. and whatnot. Uh, we got Del Rand coming up at? this week. Because we, 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 we yeah, yeah, the whole second half. Y'all put the first one in? The whole second half, our JV guys and our third string guys played, I think the offense had one. Uh, they had the first possession because we got the ball second half. We let them get the first possession. But they ain't school. We, they drove like down to Trenton's 30, something around in there. And then we put. RJVs and backups and all that and and we wasn't throwing we we just running the ball handing it off. Trenton just wasn't tackling. <laughs> yeah. but, 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 and it was you, a running clock. It was a running clock. Second half. Second half. Because once you up by thirty five, yeah. running clock. Yeah. You um, you have, you been to the game yet? No, not this year. Number one and number three. Woo baby. Yeah, yeah. Number one. Premier got the ball. But he had a touchdown. I think. Somebody mm -hmm. went to go tackling. And he went like this, right? Mm -hmm. His knee didn't touch the ground. He went around his hand. And yeah, nah, <laughs> the nah, other nah, direction. Good. And he's a... Uh... Uh, he's good at track too. <laughs> yeah, listen. He's, he's stay, uh, this is the senior year. Senior year. And then, uh, nice. Nice. Running team. back. He didn't even play because uh, he was out. He hurt his ankle the week before. So, number three, Elijah, he didn't even play. Yeah, Elijah, yeah, he's and my friend.
Shout out to her, uh, to 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 uh, Kareem Ali's younger son that's yeah, here. Yeah, he played the, the, the freshman number, number ten. 10. He had two touchdowns. It was a big day for the Ali brothers. Yeah. You got the coach, Khalil, the coach, coach, the coach. Khalil, Khalil had two touchdowns. Karan had his two because this is because he was coming off an injury. This is his first uh, varsity game. He had two touchdowns. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, cause shout, out shout out to the Ali. To the Ali, oh, wait, wait, to wait, wait, Ali wait, wait, wait. In the word of the dads, shout out to the investments. Yeah, One, two, <laughs> shout out to the investments. You know, One, two, and three. so shout out to my to my nephews. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Shout out to my nephews okay, and whatnot. There we go. There we go. So, so y'all played when this week? Uh, Friday night, home. Willowbrook our spot. Uh, no, Del Rand. Del Rand. Del Rand and Willowbrook's next week. Okay. Um, and y'all y'all are at Hatton Heights on Saturday. Gotcha. Gotcha. So gotcha. Friday night for soccer. Mm -hmm. Saturday Hatton Heights. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 We in we'll that piece. A bird cage, bird seed, fun weekend. high school fulfilled football yes. weekend. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> I wear I wear blue to piss off Okay, blue. that'll work. That, yeah, that's part of our color. Right, I know. So uh, <laughs> future players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you what, what you doing with this coaching thing? Like, you, could you would you want to be a head coach at some point or I don't think would I you? Be a head coach. Okay. I'd love to be a assist, keep being an assistant. Okay, okay. And being under Bobby's umbrella, you know, he got a lot of offers that he turned down before he came. To right, 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 right. Further away from here, right? And I'm you not know, retiring three years, so in a, maybe his, he retires in four years. Mm -hmm. He gets one of them Texas, Florida jobs. So you out? <laughs> I might I join y'all. So <laughs> right, little, little bit right, 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 right. I right. get my pension. I want to right. get medical because I'm able. Right. Right. When I retire, yeah. free for life. Yeah. 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 So that would be one of my moves I would love to take because my youngest son now is at Scott University, right, right, Savannah, right, Georgia. So right. he'll be done in four Shout years. Shout out to AJ. You know what I'm saying? Animation, so he's gonna make some money for me. <laughs> now, let's talk about that real quick before we get out of here. How was that dropping him off, dropping your youngin? Yo, I mean, I know you've been through this, yeah, you know what I'm saying, course, but so was how like, was it dropping your youngin off? I like, had the jitters like I had, <laughs> okay, I had the other one, okay, but it was okay. Like, I seen he was with his, he was in his element. Okay, gotcha. His roommate is one of them kids. He's from uh, Illinois somewhere. Got a car, so he okay. He has Oriental friends. He got okay, his, his old, okay. So he got the he got the World Cup. Gotcha. He was right in his own. He's like, what he did to me. And Lane Dorver says, so I was going to still not have me over there. Like heaven. Heaven, look. I've been singing all day. Yes, give me another one. Lane didn't call me. Like, you ain't need me, don't call right. me, you need me now. Right, right, right. <laughs> call me when you really need me. That's what's up. That's definitely what's yes. up. Shouts out to hell, y'all. Doing big yeah. things. Any yeah. shout outs, anything? Before we get out of here? Shout out one, I'm going to say rest in peace to my boy, Tony, aka oh, yeah. Baby, Baby eight. 8. Childhood friend, passed away this week. And shout out and blessing to him and his family and his ex wife, Yvette. Love y'all. Definitely, definitely. Definitely. Our condolences here on the birdcage on that. Um, Cuz, thank you. You know what I'm saying? You know, I love you. Thank you once again for, for being a part of this. You know what I'm saying? Because there is none of this without Cousin Tracy. Cousin A, you already know. <laughs> My cousin brother. <laughs> thank you for hopping on for the fourth time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we might just have to bring A back like once a once episode a month or something. Yeah, it's called the... Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> like Buffman. Yeah, like Buffman. Like you. Like you. What's up? You know what I'm saying? Like you. What's up? What's, what's up? up? What's up with y'all? You know what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely, definitely. Again, shouts out to uh, uh, Cole, my Cole Red family. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's keep this thing rocking and rolling if we can. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to... Uh, my squad, my basketball squad, my West Tech coaches, because um, they, they, a lot of people don't know, you know, with me coaching multiple sports, they hold me down tremendously, you know what I'm saying, where, you know, they're there working out with the kids, coaching fall leagues, summer leagues, we got a, um, with Del Greco, we playing in his classic on October 8th, I believe it is, up in Allentown, um, so don't, I just want to shout them guys out, you know what I'm saying, my man Jeff. Uh, my man John, my man Khalil, man, I just really want y'all to know, and I tell y'all this all the time, but I definitely appreciate y'all, um, you know, the job y'all do, and, and, and for the squad and for the kids and all that. So shout out to them guys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're only as good as your team. Yeah, man. pretty much. You know pretty what I mean? Much. As a leader, pretty you're only much. good as your team. Pretty um, much, pretty much. Yeah, so for me, for those, uh, I'm going to keep reminding, October 8th is the daylight, well, it's the Cooper River out of darkness walk at Cooper River on October 8th. It's a Saturday morning. Um, the walk starts at 10. We usually meet up at 9. It's the Vista Park, I mean the Vista Deck, close to the Cuthbert Boulevard. That's October 8th. Daylight Foundation will be doing the out of darkness walk um, at Cooper River 
at the V. We'll meet at the Vista Deck at 9 a.m. Um, for those that are interested in coming to the walk to show your support about bringing awareness to suicide prevention, um, I have shirts available. I will have shirts available. Um, you can just DM me um, at you can't be th on Instagram, or you can DM the Daylight Foundation on Instagram if you would like to purchase a shirt um, and join us for the walk. Um, AAU basketball started for my grandbaby. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fall basketball. That was the first. That was the first. This is the first. This is her first tournament. <laughs> this is her first time being in AAU. I decided to wait till she was a little bit mature, mm -hmm. as a female, a ex female athlete, as a coach of females, as a coach. Period. Um, I've watched little girls start early burn and, and burn out. Gotcha. So I decided to wait a little later for her to put her in all of this madness because AAU can be madness. Um, she still has a lot to learn. She doesn't know her own talent. Mm -hmm. She's a, she's like, she's saying if I shoot too much, I feel like I'm being a ball hog. I just kind of want to feed my teammates. I had to explain to her today, you wide open. Sometimes, yeah. number one, they not ready for that pass because right. they all 12 year olds. Right, right, they right. not ready for that. Right, right, right. They don't know the, the head cut to the right, basket right, right, for right, that. Right, That's right, number one. Right. Number two, you got an open shot. Yeah, that's the best shot. I said the thing about it is it's open yeah. and it's your shot. Yeah, and it's so your shot. So you got to right, take it right, when it's your shot because right. that's what you shoot. Right. right. Now, yeah. let me ask you this. Mm. If it comes a point where I, okay, you say I'm not coaching them on all that. How about she asks you, like, like you know, they, they looking for some coaches and I want you to come be on staff and for me, would you do it for her? That would be no, only because nah, still, I don't yeah. think coaches should coach their kids because me and my oldest went at it. When I coached okay. Cream, I kicked her out the gym. <laughs> and my <laughs> thing is, like I said, like now I'm gonna work her out, mm -hmm. and right. that's gonna be a transition for her. Right. Because I'm I, I works out. Right. And I work out with my kids though. Right. Yeah. Like when I used to get up, I used to get phase up yeah. five thirty in the morning, take her kid right. in the high field, and I used to mm -hmm. run with her. Right. right. It snowed one day. Like I was out there with her. If I'm out here with you. Like, I don't want to, we in, we in here. I remember just. The story, too, is like, when, when I was in South Carolina and they had, the mayor had this pro day, mm -hmm. and one of the, the reporters asked me when did I know the mayor had, had it. I said, I know he had it when he was nine years old, because we would always train in the off season, like April, mm -hmm. we would run hills and stuff like that. So one Saturday night I'm hanging out, I might have been out with you one night. <laughs> I was in, in terrestrial. Okay, okay. So it's like, we get up like 10 or 11 o'clock. Right. Nine o'clock in the morning, he's knocking on the door. I'm in the bed, like, hungover. <laughs> he says, Dad, we working out today? And my ex-wife nudged me, like, you know you better get up. If he's coming to get you, that's <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah. That's, that's what you I said, want. I can't hold him back. Yeah, now facts. I know he wants it. Facts. Yeah, that's, that's what's my up. thing is, so, you know, I like I told her when I was watching some of the stuff she was doing, because it was killing me to watch it. Right, right. It was really killing me to watch it because it was small, fundamental yeah, things yeah. that I know that they're not being taught. Right. It was just driving me crazy. And that's the thing with some of the AU programs. Yeah. It's like they kind of and it was over right. the fundamental parts. And it was, it was driving me crazy. And right? at that age, that should be all they're really focused on at 12. You got to focus on the so fundamentals. I, you know so I told her mom, I said, you know, she only got practice on Mondays and Fridays. Right. So... Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, she mom. And now Whitman Park is fully sure, open. Yeah, yeah, oh, Listen, yeah. we nice it's, we out there. Yeah. The candle, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? We yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, my yeah, thing is I watched her do some things. I'm going to jot some things down, and I'm going to just, we're going to start, I'm going to start working them out. Okay. Because, like, I, who better, because I know it. Right, like, yeah. Like, who nah, better to, I can't leave definitely. it up to somebody else. Definitely. When I see her lacking in fundamentals, Nothing. I can't leave it up to another coach right. to teach my kid fundamentals. Right. You know what? Nine times out of ten ain't got time to do it with the kids anyway. Right. So, but too many right. of us. Right, 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 right. So, and and one last thing before we get out of here, um, check on your folk. Yes, yes, yes. If somebody yes. crosses your mind that yes. you ain't talked to in a minute, check yeah. on your folk. Yes. Give them a call. Yes. You know what I mean? The weather's changing out here. When the weather changes, a lot of people tend to go through a little depression. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It gets darker yeah. earlier. Yeah. Season yeah. change. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So, check yeah. on your folk. Like, if nothing else, shoot them a text. It don't yep. hurt nobody to shoot a text. True. Hey, just thinking about you, are you okay? True. You know what I mean? True. And And be be, be authentic when right. you ask somebody, are you really right, okay? Right, right, just right. in case, because you never know what the response may be. True. And be ready for whatever the response is so you can have a dialogue about it. True. So, again, just check on your folks. True. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Well, on that note, episode 69 is uh, in the books. Once again, I'm Setuayo, a.k.a. Show, and we'll talk to you soon.
It was a stone groove, my man.